dear officers and members of the force i address you today on the eve of rpf raising day today we gather not only to celebrate the remarkable journey of the ranger protection force but also to chart a course towards a promising future our force has come a long way since its inception and it's a matter of great pride to be part of this steam organization the indian railway has always been a vector of national growth and social development ensuring seamless connectivity across the length and breadth of the country be it for the transportation of people food grains coal or numerous or numerous economic value chains partaking in the vision of an art noble bharat from food security to energy security or its steaming billions and securing this lifeline of the nation stands the railway protection force the armed force of the union under the ministry of railways is steadfast in its mission of protecting passengers passenger areas and railway property the railway protection force dates its origin back to 1854 The railway protection force has undergone radical changes from its early days to its transformation into a modern force under the Railway Protection Force Act, 1957, and its emergence as an armed force of the Union by amendment in the year 1985. In this gradual development, the force successfully shouldered greater responsibilities bestowed on it from time to time. during the security of railway passengers and railway areas from 2004 onwards today as we celebrate the rpf raising day let us recommit ourselves to the ideals and principles that define the rpf let us draw strength from the sacrifice of our martyrs and the achievements of our forefathers to carry forward this legacy of ours organization with honor and integrity We have faced countless trials, upheld the principles of justice, and served with unwavering commitment and honor. Our legacy is a testament to the dedication and sacrifices of countless officers and personnel who have served before us. However, as we look back with pride, we must also acknowledge that the world around us is rapidly changing. New challenges are emerging, and our responsibilities, therefore, continue to evolve to remain effective and efficient we must be willing to adapt to changes just as we have done throughout our history in this context i would like to emphasize the need for a forward thinking approach as we set our sights on the future vision the days of relying solely on manpower intensive activities are numbered to stay relevant and ensure the safety and security of our railways we must embrace technology oriented capabilities and modern inputs technology must become our ally and as we our ability to safeguard our railways we must invest in state of the art surveillance systems advanced communication networks and data analytics tools to predict and prevent security breaches our officers should be equipped with cutting edge devices that enable real time monitoring and rapid response we must leave no room for complacency when it comes to the safety of our railway passengers our journey towards a technology driven future also necessitates an unwavering commitment to capacity building and training beyond the technical skills necessary for their duties training also encompasses Behavioral changes and skill development. It's vital because in the complex and dynamic environment of railway security, our officers must not only react effectively but also proactively shape and influence their surrounding. Apart from professional competency, we must also emphasize on a sensitized workforce with a service orientation attitude. who go the extra mile in their line of duty 
being the frontline workers of the railways when it comes to passenger facilitation, the physical fitness of the officers, and the mental health of the members also needs to be emphasized. Members of a uniformed force cannot discharge their duties properly if their fitness is not of the highest order. Bringing about a continuing awareness about physical fitness is the need of the hour. Before I conclude, I would like to draw your attention to a remarkable milestone that sets the Railway Protection Force apart from all other armed forces in our great nation. We take immense pride in being the most gender-friendly force in India, with the highest percentage of women officers and personnel among all the armed forces of the Union. This achievement is not just a statistic, but a testament to our unwavering commitment to gender inclusivity and empowerment. We believe that diversity strengthens our force and enriches our perspective, making us more effective in serving the diverse population of our railways. We prioritize the security of women in Indian railways, and our personnel play a pivotal role in achieving this goal through schemes such as Mary Sahedi. I want to thank each and every one of you for your dedication, hard work, and commitment to the service of our nation. Together, we can shape a future where RPL remains at the forefront of labor security, powered by technology and driven by our unwavering commitment to duty. We must pay attention to mental health of our officers and men. In the end, I convey my warmest wishes on this special day to all of you. Thank you and Jai Hind.